Hi everyone, this is M, and today with the help of my good friend Fatal.ai, we are going to talk about audio reactivity with Kyber. If you don't already know, Kyber is this fantastic AI-driven video generation app that's all about empowering your creativity. No matter if you're a total beginner or a pro filmmaker, Kyber makes the entire video creation process super simple and accessible, so you can focus on unleashing your imagination and creating amazing content. With Kyber's new audio reactivity feature, this fantastic addition lets you tweak the camera motion speed in your Kyber videos to match your music's vibe. To get a better idea of how it works, picture the zoom camera motion. Cranking up the values gives you quicker zooming, while dialing them down results in slower zooming, all perfectly in tune with your jams. For instance, a quiet, uniform piece may cause the constant motion to move faster than the rhythmic transients of a heavy track. That's where audio reactivity comes in. You can adjust it to intensify the visuals for intense music or tone them down for softer pieces, creating a more coherent video experience. Another critical aspect of audio reactivity is its effect on specific camera motions, like rotation, especially in non-square aspect ratios. With default or higher settings, loud music sections may cause screen tearing issues towards the video edges. To reduce these visual artifacts, lower the audio reactivity parameter. Values of 3 or lower work well for the rotation camera type. So go ahead and start experimenting with audio reactivity to enhance your Kyber AI generated videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.